Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, Beaky here with the Untitled Game Show, back once again with another 4K video for you guys today. And I have an amazingly tough question that I need your help answering. What would you do in my situation? Would you be able to pick your friends or were playing on the best platform available for a game? What am I talking about? Well, you guys know the game Battleborn is coming out real soon. We have less than like 24 hours. And here we go with the PlayStation 4 version of it. And right over here, obviously, here's the Steam version of it. And I'm in a big dilemma. I need to pick which version of the game I need to go ahead and pick up. And I need your guys' opinion on this subject because I bet it's going to affect some of you guys down the line. Do you pick your friends playing with them or we're playing on the better platform? So here's my situation. On my PlayStation 4, I have subscribers like Green Bug, The Warrior Sue, and many other of my friends like Jem who want to play Battleborn with me. They're not going to play it that much as much as me, but they're going to play it every now and then, and most of them are going to probably play the single player, but I'm definitely going to be heavily into the multiplayer, and I know we'll be able to form teams and get people to play with me more on the PlayStation 4 because I have a lot of friends and subscribers who constantly want to add me on the PlayStation 4, just how it is. Over on the PC side of things, I can actually get the game cheaper than the $60 price. So that's one plus for the PC. I can get the game at freaking 60 FPS all the way up to maybe 120 FPS. I have a 4K monitor. If I wanted to play at 4K 30 FPS, I could do that once a game eventually supports that. I could get the graphic settings to basically be maxed out with my computer that you guys see chilling down here with the flashing lights, the be quiet one right here that I made the ultra quiet PC editing computer. If you guys need to check out that video, check the top of the computer. You see, you guys see all the parts for this. Absolutely great computer. It's freaking quieter than my PlayStation 4, which is what actually is making all the noise in the background. Here's my PS4 controller showing right there. But back to the point I have a really powerful computer, spend a whole lot of money on it, and I'm intending to play games on this computer. But I'm like, is it worth missing out the chance to play with my friends to play on the inferior platform which will be the PlayStation 4 let's keep it all let's not keep it twisted playing at 30 FPS on the PlayStation 4 1080p is nice but it wouldn't be as great as either playing at 4k 30 FPS on the PC or playing at 1080p 120 FPS or 60 FPS if the game only allows me to go 120 FPS I'm not sure but I'll definitely be able to do 1080p 60 FPS at max settings on the PC so what would you pick playing with your friends that you guarantee to have a good time in a multiplayer based online game like this especially for the co-op single player or going ahead with a multiplayer 5v5 it's a hard decision to pick and I mean I did have the Xbox one in consideration it's not that I hate my Xbox one I really don't but the truth to be told is that my Xbox one the people who I have added on the Xbox one they are people who only want to play Gears and Halo those are my friends on Xbox one so they wouldn't even be interested in games like this at all how would you guys go ahead and pick in a situation like this? And I can give you guys another example. I'm going to be running into the same situation when it comes to the game Titanfall 2. So you guys remember, Titanfall came out and I ended up buying the game on the PC. And I love the game. I am very good at I mean, guys, I know the single play suck. I know I was missing a lot of content. And I made sure I made sure I let you guys know that in my videos. But I love the gameplay and I kicked ass in that multiplayer. If I had to go over to play this game on the PlayStation 4, which most of my friends are going to be getting it on that platform now, I'm going to miss out on the experience of playing it on the higher definition, great frame rate on the PC, and then have to play it on the PlayStation 4. And I'm not sure if I'm willing to take away my great experience that I had on that game with the PC to be able to play with my friends on the PS4. So what do I pick? Playing with my friends at a lower quality, okay, the games are going to look okay, or do I play without my friends because I don't have that many friends on PC? You guys know the truth. I really don't have a lot of friends on PC that play the type of games that I play. Like, I'm most, it just, I don't have a lot of friends that play Titanfall. I don't have a lot of friends that play XCOM 2. I, I don't know why. I just don't know why. All the friends I have on PC all want to play League of Legends, Dota. I, I, don't, I don't know how that happened, but I don't play those games. And that's just my problem, I guess. Be here with the Untile Game Show. What would you do? Play with your friends or go for the best possible gaming experience at a cheaper price? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, guys, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys let me know. But actually, just comment it. You don't have to like the video. Just let me know. Tell me in the comments. And I have a quick little thing I want to know from you guys as well. What is you guys' true opinions of the HTC Vive? I know this might be coming out of nowhere, but my HTC Vive has finally shipped. 
And if you guys remember when I talked about it before, I paid nine hundred dollars and fifty cents, nine hundred fifty cents for this damn device. I'm gonna get it in the next few days. I'm gonna do a setup video. I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna have a lot of VR games of me playing, running around this room, doing the base station all stuff. I have a lot of cool stuff coming up with VR. But I want to know what you guys actually think of the vibe for the price you have to pay for it. It's $7.99. It came out to $900 for me. That's a lot of money. That type of money you guys are willing to take to experience a new form of gaming. I made a great blog post on the UntitledGameShow.com website. I'm going to have it linked in the description. I want you guys to go over there, read my opinions and my hopes for the HTC Vive. And see if you guys agree with me, disagree with me. Let, leave a comment on that blog post. Just let me know what you guys personally think. I'm going to be posting up some more blog posts. Blob posts. Can I speak right now? It is clearly in the morning, but blob posts. Yeah. Blob. Vlog posted. Blog post. Vlog posts. Yo, I'm missing a blob. Vlog. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I'm too tired, guys. Peace out. Go check out the links in the description. Be here with the Untitled Game Show back once again with another 4K video.